Welcome grinders, can you hear me? Testing, testing, we are going to start right now. Welcome to Next Gen. Boom. What's up everybody? Mike test, Mike test, one, two. Shout out to the Floyd, shout out to Social Joins. How you guys doing? As you come in here, hit that like button. So I, uh, I, instead of moving my PlayStation, I actually brought my streaming to the PlayStation to get this content uh captured up here and um and so yeah i'm working off of a kind of an, an ad hoc streaming system let's see how this works uh hopefully you can hear me and um and uh yeah so we're just gonna just see how this works here with the streaming wise and that uh hopefully it runs pretty well sound is a go thank you to floyd so with that and i know you know shout out to social i know that you know saying that you know everybody's gonna be getting them too in, in on november 19th out in the uh you know out in the uh where's the uk so um yeah i'm not gonna spoil too much but what i'm going to do is what i want to do is kind of show some more of the dashboard and uh and basically some of the things that i've been learning you know because there's been stuff that's hidden and things that uh you know that could definitely save you some um some time and things like that uh things i'm learning and to show you some features and cool things that i thought were pretty cool um again i've also had uh the opportunity i still have the series x i have that and uh, i've been using that as well and just kind of like you know the differences and it's pretty much a similar to what we've been talking about where how the you know the differences with the series x but just some of the things like going back and forth between them and you know and just kind of seeing who does what and and who does the other one uh, better and, and you know just kind of things to point it out and then nonetheless we are definitely going to play some games um, and also by having this set up here I'm able to jump through a few games now I've been streaming from the PlayStation for my last couple of streams one turned out great the other ones didn't turn out so hot um, there's some artifact thing going on I don't know if it's um, last night I lost power so uh, coming back on I don't know if that affected you know my upstream I think it's my upload that really was an issue with it so um I'm gonna see, you know, what else goes on, but I love the streaming from the PlayStation. It's definitely better than, you know, hooking a laptop capture card and things like that. If you just want to stream a game and, you know, have the chat and everything like that up, um, and you'll know, have the camera up there, pretty cool and stuff like that. Uh, the the embedded, and I'm gonna show some of that stuff too. The, I'll show you how you could just uh, how easy it is to just stream right from the system itself um, with that. And then uh, the other thing is is the um, you know, by having this this set up here, you know, hopefully uh, it, it is the, something. The bug snacks one that I did worked out pretty damn well. So I don't know what it was. It could just be just the internet acting funky. But um, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do this setup and uh, you know, see what you guys think about it. And you know, but this one allow me to show you the UI because you still can't like stream the UI natively from the system itself. You only could do a game and only one game. And what I wanted to show here. Is how we how you navigate through other games and just kind of my impressions of that so with that you know one of the things uh, you know that this is basically the, the PlayStation Store that's built in and you know there's been a lot of videos but again nobody does it like the grinds I'm gonna show you what works what I what I think needs to be fixed and all this other stuff so um, just give me some of my impressions of this and if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the chat um, and I'll do my best to answer those questions and try to keep myself on track of what I wanted to uh, go over. So I just want to make sure that my the sound is good. So um, and Deflate said it is good. The sound is a go. So your first tab is the PlayStation Store. So you can see with the new PlayStation Store, they basically um, you just go right down. It's not an app anymore. You don't. If you click on it, it just drops you right down. You know. So there's no apps. Uh, what they've done is these must see kind of things like these are the kind of like things that they want to, um, you know, kind of highlight stuff like that. Um, and if you click on them, it'll take you to that game page for it. And then we'll go over the game pages, but you know, they also have the what's hot. And these are kind of the, the things that they want to bring up to the top the front. And then they have the coming soon section. So his return, a lot of people sleep on this one. And then also you have wish lists. So boom, add to my wish list. And I'll follow the game too, which means that any news comes up, it'll show up in my feed for it. Um, and then you can see here's the official news, here's the trailer, and if you click it, you know, opens up the trailer, just like that. <laughs> Slickness, real slick. Yeah, so you could just see. Now remember, this game's coming out too. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty, pretty lit. 
Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. My death. The crash. This game looks fire too, man. The attack. My death. So I know this sounds too loud. Trapped in this endless cycle. Even death is no escape. There we go. Just show some gameplay for you. Move on. Each time I awake. This planet seems somehow different. As if Groundhog changing. Day, alien style. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. This looks good, man. The longer I <laughs> see <laughs> the voice that she's ugly as sick. My sanity slip away. But I cannot. She got two colored eyes. Hope. Yeah, anyway. This looks like a good shoot. What's up, Buck But anyway, so you got that, and then uh, I guess, you know, you get the trailers and stuff like that. So this is the more coming soon. Look, you also have Final Fantasy 16. Let's add that to the wish list. So the store adds, um, you know, what's coming soon, and then some featured games, like, you know, stuff that you, uh, you know, that they want to highlight for the console. Uh, interesting, Deathloop is already 10% off, so 53.99. Uh, which is pretty cool, and you know you could, you know, for a plus discount, you get to your wish list, and then you know it shows the media. Yeah, you know, so this is all the kind of, and then they have the breakdown of the different editions. So in the store, pretty cool here. And then some expand your games, and then you see this that they've a little broken down. PlayStation 5 for free to play, and PlayStation Now. Uh, if you go to collections, it'll show you monthly picks, superheroes, PlayStation indies. And, uh, you know, kind of breaking it up this way as well with that. And then Discover PlayStation 4 Central, Essentials VR. It's definitely a different layout. But where's the old games at? Yeah, right? Eh. Where are those old games at? And then they got subscriptions. So they got this PlayStation Plus collection. These are the games that are in the PlayStation Plus collection, which is pretty damn lit with, with all these games. You know? I didn't have the Royal Edition here, so that's pretty cool for me. Uh, for me, Monster Hunter World, I had that. I traded that in. You can see all the ones I purchased. Uh, Resident Evil 7, I never had because I played that on Xbox. Persona, I have in the plastic, so it's nice to have it digitally because I still never opened it. Uncharted, I got rid of when Lost Legacy came out. I traded that in because that came packed in. And then they have Zombie Chronicles, which is pretty cool. Yeah, these are all the games in the collection. And Bloodborne down here, too. And... Uh, yeah, and then you got your uh, PlayStation Now, which I'll show that. And then here's your PlayStation Monthly Games. Bug Snacks! Bug Snacks. We got that, Hollow Knight, and Shadow of War. And then, um, yep, so you can just see the layout. And then Must Games on PlayStation Now. And then Browse, which is basically a list of kind of everything. And you can sort by best-selling. You could, you could filter by release date, if it's VR, platform, genre. You know, if you want the shooters, so here are all the shooters, like, ever, you know, in the system. The one aspect I, I'm not seeing is that it doesn't have the deals, like, deals section, you know what I mean? Like, it has, and also kind of the the new games. Like, I guess you could do, you could come here and then filter by release date, and you could say just released or coming soon. And you can see, like, oh, free upgrade for Man Eden. Like, here's a just released games. So, I guess you could do like that, like, filter versus coming soon. And, uh, I guess the coming soon are these. So, like, I do think they need Temtem. I thought Temtem was already out. It is already out. Oh, pre order. It comes out the 8th. Okay. But, yeah, so, like, this is kind of the, the breakdown, um, here of, of this. I know. That's right, Buck Raj. Hey. <laughs> Pitch Black says, let me save you an hour. Well, yeah, the one thing I don't see is the deals, like the the, the, the that section. Uh, but yeah, but that's the new PlayStation Store. And then the Explore thing is basically, you know, the launch trailers and kind of news, you know, Share Factory, 
Uh, there's so much stuff to do. You know, here's a, um, yeah, this game is, and, uh, the, the, was it, Grip Pathless or something like that? That was pretty cool. And then here's just, like, the new section. And then you got your PlayStation Plus section where it tells you the games. I was just in that. And then you Call of Duty, and it is my game. So I got Call of Duty, Playroom, and I've been bouncing about these three for now. Um, <clears throat> I did jump into Ghost. And then just to show you the game library. Another thing that, that's kind of weird, too, is that you can't just hit the top button to snap right to your library. You got to hold and go across. And there's something I know that they added in the PlayStation 4. Like, you just hit the tab. Now, if you hit the tab, it'll take you to your media stuff. Which, um, you have to download my videos. This is a separate app to get anything. Yo, what's up, Immortal? How you doing? You have to download my videos. Um, there's a tip. So, like, any movies... I didn't buy any movies, but if you bought any movies on the PlayStation uh, 4, um, you'll be like, where are they? Because, you know, they're not... They might not be... They're, they're in their own app, and they're under my videos. So, you have to download this app so you can see that stuff. I'll show you what the wish list does. No problem. So, I added those games to the wish list. So, now... When I come here, I'll see my favorites, right? My wish list. And what it does is that it'll send you notifications for things like, you know, if, you, if your game goes on sale or when it's available, it'll just, it just kind of gives you like a shortcut to the game. And when you click on it, it'll take you to there. And then if you follow it, then it will, it will feed any information into the explore or into this thing, the official news tab, if you hit follow. It'll, start, it'll, it'll send you kind of notifications that there's new information and things. But that's the wishlist does. It kind of like tags the game to say, hey, you know, if this goes on sale or when it releases, just let me know. And uh, it's good because you, you, sometimes you see a game and it's like, oh, this don't come out. I don't want to pre-order it now, but I want to know what's going on with it. You just add it to your wishlist. And um, yeah, we'll see when some of these games start coming out to the wish list what it what it does. Um, but there it is right there. And then they have the shopping cart and then... Yeah, you could do your wallet and all that stuff. See, I have been adding my points to it. But you can redeem your cards from here, your subscriptions, purchase history, transaction history, and your payment methods. And yeah, you could do that. So that's where that information. That's where you redeem your cards. It, that's a trick because, like, if you come here, you're like, where do I redeem my PlayStation points? You go here, redeem codes. So there's that's something that'll save you. Uh, that's something. Uh, there's a tip <laughs> tip of the day where you redeem your PlayStation codes so uh, and then the other thing is the game library and this is the other thing I want to touch on too is uh, so here's your collection so this is basically everything that you've purchased um, you know with with the, the PlayStation stuff and you know you can see I'm crazy I got 645 games I got 400 I got 300 games on Xbox um, in my purchase history but yeah it's 645 so I got all this stuff and yeah you can filter it out by platform by by how you have it because it also adds like playstation now games playstation plus games to it then you do installed so here's your installed stuff so i installed fortnite bug snacks astro your share factory your remote play which i tried once i had it i turned off my system remotely when i was in bed i was like oh i forgot i want to, to close the game out so i did that remotely playstation now you click on that it's basically they took it and they just put it inside of the system so you have, uh, you know, basically here's all your PlayStation Now games. You know, if you want to play, you could click on it and then you can hit play. I downloaded this. Or you can hit stream and you can stream it through PlayStation Now. Um, or you could download. So like, uh, say 2K. So you'll see the two options here. Oh, I might have it installed. Yeah, I'll do a game I don't have installed. Like, yeah, Kingdom Come. So Kingdom Come, I could download it or I could stream it. And streaming's been all right. I only did one game. I got to try it again because I re I'm just giving my honest opinion. Like I really haven't really streamed too much um, because I've been playing other games, like new ones. And uh, yeah, so uh, and then another thing that I saw that was interesting and new is that they have last chance to play. This is a new section I, I noticed. So um, as the game leaves, so if you want to download, stream it, um, you could add to your wish list. You could buy it. Um, and then that's another thing that I wanted to show on there. But yeah, so this is this is the um, the PlayStation, you know, PlayStation Now. This is everything in PlayStation Now. But you can see it's all, it's not an app. It's all built into the system. Uh, and then they have their collections. So you PlayStation 2 games. These are all the PlayStation 2 games that are in there. You could stream them or download them. Fantavision, download or stream. Tons, tons, tons of games, man, tons. 
and the PlayStation 3 the only game these are the games that you have to stream you can't download these um, you know you gotta stream the PlayStation 3 games and then your PlayStation 4 games most of that almost all of them are downloadable and there they are you know tons of them about 900 games all 10 of them that's right pitch back all 10 of those PlayStation 2 games and then downloadable these pull out these just basically merge the PlayStation 4s and, and the PlayStation 2s together. And then your PlayStation exclusives. This, though, Pitch Black, this is not all 10 of them. This is a lot more PlayStation exclusives <laughs> that are in there. So, uh, yeah, more than 10 in that one. And then they have genres. So, they got, it's, it's, it's definitely the same thing, you know, but it's, it's just that it's in there. And then you got your browse where you can search for it. And then uh, I guess you could add your place, you could add your favorites. You know, to that stuff. I guess the, these are your favorites to that. So yeah, it's all integrated now. And then PlayStation Plus is its own tab with all the games that they offered. 103 games I have for PlayStation Plus. Yeah, hey, what's up, Cyber Dragon? How you doing? So they got all these games that they got from PlayStation Plus, man. They've been good. They've been good recently, I tell you that. And then PlayStation Now. So there's your game library. It's broken up. Like, they kind of separate. It's not just your collection and what's installed. Now they have your PlayStation Plus games that are, have access to you. So they're definitely integrating the sus subscriptions more so than, um, you know, than basically, you know, what they've done with the PlayStation 4. Like, they had the PlayStation stuff there. But now they definitely are pushing more of PlayStation Now and Plus as embedded directly into the operating system. And, you know, the, the tabs are right here for them, but also it's built into your collection. So it definitely kind of overwhelms you. It's like, whoa, I got, you have a lot of games because they're kind of putting the plus ones in there. Plus they gave you this collection, which this this thing in itself is insane. And, uh, you know, because those are incredible, some incredible games in there. So one of the things I want to show, so first um, I wanted to show, you know, so Spider-Man here. So when you go on a game, Again, there's no um, backgrounds or anything like that. Um, cool, Sam. Cool, man. Yeah, so there's no backgrounds. There's no, there's, but basically, each game has its own background and, you know, little uh, little kind of thing to it. It tells you your progress, how many trophies are earned. Um, and so this is the main home screen. So, like, one of the cool things is if you go to, like, say, uh, Astro's Playroom, you press down, you'll see the activities, which are a bunch... But I'm still trying to get used to them because these cards are very kind of like they do different things. So if you look at some of these, some of these will give you like this is a, a scoreboard where you could go and compete against some speed runs. Um, here's a speed run in here. And it gave me another speed run. And what's interesting is, is that I did one speed run yesterday and now it's kind of giving me these speed runs up front. Which is interesting because I did one speed run yesterday and now it's like, oh, here's some other ones you might want. I don't know if it's learning like that, but it's interesting to see that these speed runs are up front, which I only did one of them. Then you come here and this basically is the coolest thing of it. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to really do this is the um, these activities, right? So when you come in here, uh, you'll see... Basically, you know, Astro's Playroom Plaza, the Labo, this is missions. So these are basically areas in the game. So just think of it as a hub world, and then there's like your forest, there's the mother, and then within the forest, there's like four levels in the forest. Each of those levels are broken down, and then there's kind of things inside of each level, and you can see, you know, find all artifacts. So I'm not completed to this level yet. So it's definitely good for completionists. Um, I know, and that's the thing, like these activities are kind of. It's weird how you know it did that stuff, but one of the cool things is is that it's telling it, it keeps track of your scoreboard and it'll tell you what you've done, and then it'll tell you if somebody beat you and if you want to go beat them on the scoreboard. So for example, I'll hit this play. Now watch this. This launches the game but takes you right there. So this is zero effort. Boom! I'm right at the speed run right now. It almost makes a a, a, a game like um. Like uh, a big game longer, per se, you know, like a big game into mini games. Because it, it takes you right there. Like, it's not like, hey, somebody beat you, so go boot up the game and go try to, uh, you know. Oh, oh, snap. I already tell you, I'm off on my 43 seconds. 
Yeah, I should have. I skipped that one the last time. That one. But it's cool for like um. What did I do? Oh, two seconds higher. Oh, do you? Do, oh, oh, oh! There it is. Now you hit leaderboards. Watch. I bet you sick humor's on top again. I was trying to beat him yesterday. Where is he? Yep, there he is. And Rand. Shout out to Rand and Nick. G mean, I beat G mean. From yes, I beat G mean. But like G Tech, Strap, yeah. So yeah, so like if anybody beats your score, it'll kind of give you like a notification and stuff like that. Um. Yeah. And this is just something within the game. It's crazy. And now it'll just spit you back out in the game. And now, hey, I'm in it now. Cool, right? This game is... I tell you, this freaking game... Awesome. My god. But no, I'm going to show you something else cool. So say you're in the lab, all right? Oh, yeah, I'm a Jez7780X. There's some more puzzle pieces. Yes, that's Randall Thor. Yep, that's him. Shout out to Rand. So, so this, y'all, I've been collecting my PlayStations here. Look at this. I got the two, the three, the, the four, and I'm waiting for the five. That's the last level. Oh, this guy's loving his PlayStation. Dude, get off of here. guys are like, I don't know what they're doing to this PlayStation, but get off of that thing, you nasties. And they come in here, cash money, there's your slot machine, pull it down with those with those triggers, squeeze it with the other trigger. That's how I cash out, cash out. But this is another cool thing. So, uh, Oh yeah, I'm going to show you some nostalgia here. Remember these things? The UMDs? And then this thing, the PlayStation, the uh, GPS, the PSP camera, and then here's the Vita chip. Vita chip. Yeah. Show you those friggin' memory cards. That's what they should show you. Oh, look at this. They even rendered the friggin' VR box. Look at this thing. Busted. Remember that's that weird thing? Close it. But what's cool here is that you hit the thing, the PlayStation button. You hit it once, right? Shows you your recent screenshots. Now, if you go down here to um, see your, where is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't have it open. Oh, cool. There you go. Undeniable truth. I will accept that. So let's see what happens. So I click on undeniable truth. I hit accept. Boom. Look at that. It didn't kick me out of anything. Thank you, Undeniable Truth. But yeah, you guys hit that like button too. Um, but yeah, so like, see, it doesn't take you out of the game. Just accept it right there. But here's a cool thing, ready? So, now I'm in the game, right? If you are in the game and you're, you're playing it, so you're doing this stuff, you click on this, and I'm just not sure why it's not taking me. So if now if I go to the... It usually shows me different activities. I don't know why it's not doing the other activities. Maybe because the way I launched it. But let me show you something. So now, this is the thing that, um, so this is the cool thing. So like you're in the CPU plaza, right? You hit this thing up. So here are my screenshots that I've taken and stuff like that. So you can just share them like that. And I'll show you that in a bit. But um, watch this. So now you hold the button down and I'll say, you remember this whole quick resume thing, right? This quick resume stuff that goes on? Well, I'm going to go into Spider-Man, right? And I'm just going to launch it regular. Now watch this. So everybody's saying, you know, Xbox does have that quick resume where it just bounces you back, which is really cool. And I, that's one thing that I think is neat that it does that. But this is something that's, I think, even a little bit better. So here's Spider-Man, right? Now... Jumping around the Spider-Man, and, and you're like, okay, you know what? I'm getting a little, uh, well, I'm not going to say I'm real bored of it yet, but, like, 
doing the Spider-Man. And I'm playing right now. Here we go. So I'm playing right now in perform. This is not performance mode. This is, uh, and I don't like this suit. I want to switch out to the cool suits. So you get these new suits here. Let's check this one out. Oh, it's like cartoon Spider-Man. And that, you know, you got that one. And then this is the one I've been rocking. This one. Or is it? This one. So. I just like running around the streets because it looks so You might have heard incredible. about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing See people walking down there, the reflections horrible insane. demonic faces. Get another example of the explosion in mass criminals since... So you run around, Spider-Man. Let's hear your thoughts. I gotta stop Miles. That's what I'm gonna be doing later today. Yeah, I see your point, but Let's see if I get... I'm gonna get to a, a high point here. Man, he's like them, and I tell you, with the controller, man... You it's feel the the, the right vibration of the of the oh, web coming off the controller. Just a lesson in the English language, Woo. my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge so someone before this. you know anything about them. I know all I need to about you. Get up there. Get this, buddy. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now. If I'm a mentally unstable person and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Dude, it looks so cool at night. Now, we're going to switch it. So you go here. Just messing around here. Now go performance mode, right? So now they just turn off ray tracing. Wonder what kind of trouble so you see the, into you know, this It's definitely time. a little clearer because there's less of that kind of cinematic, all those effects and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't know if it's coming over as, as 60p, but you could perfectly in Times Square. But yeah, man, performance mode. Woo! It looks like, dude. I don't know if you run through it in fidelity mode and then go through performance mode. Oh my god. It is just like, I don't know, I keep going back and forth between them. I know, J Jameson spitting. <laughs> you don't shut up, man. He's, a, he's, a, he's an OG grinder, I'm going to say about him, man. Yes, it is performance mode. And, dude, this is just is incredible. And what's crazy is that, you know, the same traffic density. But, man, you feel like you're whipping through the city. Now you don't get the reflections, so like you'll see, like you, know, you don't get all the the reflections. You get something, but you don't get all the um, you know of everything going on. And also, too, things will clean it because there's less kind of um, Attention all units. you know kind of you think. I guess. Oh yeah. All, all right, right let's let's do a crime in 60 and 60 frames. Well, so let's see. What is that crime? I don't know. See, that's the thing. I prefer. Uh, it's like I play the fidelity mode because I really like it um, because it definitely makes it look like a realistic city. And you'll see. So, like, can't yeah, watch. It makes it feel like a realistic city. But then when you go to 60p in uh, the performance mode, you're just like, oh my god, it's so smooth. It's so much faster. And you feel like Spider-Man. So it's really things, right? So like, here we go. And here you go. Here we go visual. Like this. Now I go Fidelity. Now watch walking through the street here. See, so now there's definitely more light trouble blooming. Into this time. Things like that. Like, you know, there's definitely... It's not as clear. There's a lot more, like, light effects and blooms. So, and also there's better textures on the streets. If you can see the streets are definitely... You know, there's better textures. Plus, you know, especially at night. Excuse me, don't run over Spider-Man. You'll see the reflections of the world and stuff. And even Spider-Man, you know, walking by... Excuse me! I'm trying to look at myself in your car. What does this lady want? Oh, you social distancing. My word for it. It's like you'll see like there's better textures and stuff like that. And look, see the reflections? See, I, I'm just like, I'm I'm really one for just visuals. Like, I just love this kind of stuff. And maybe you know, I'll go to performance, but I keep going back and forth between the two of them. Excuse me. But yeah, you can see, look at the, the yeah, it's crazy. And then you walk walking by. It's, it's, it's only when walking by the streets. But, like, see, swinging through the city, though? 
I, I prefer, but like, look, like, look how it really looks like a city. Like, it's the, the lighting and the bloom and, and all that other stuff. Like, it does do that way. So, it's seriously, like, I want to see if I can find any crime. I want to do some fighting. But then the fighting and stuff, like, you know what's funny? Is that I kind of do, like, the fidelity mode outside and the performance mode inside. I don't know. It's easy to switch. I'll switch again. I think Miles has the same one, but I'll, I'll, start, I'll stream that one, too, if this one works out. But you'll see. You'll Wonder see what kind now of there's, trouble shockers into this there's a little bit less bloom. It still looks incredible. That's the thing. Exactly, Froggy. It looks amazing in both of them. Like, I'm just like, dude, I, I don't know. Like, it's just crazy. You know, and then you just look at the speed of this one, and you're just like, oh, man. All units, 1010 oh. narcotic sale reported in progress. All right, let's see. Where's that progress? All right, where is it? I gotta go. I'm trying to find this, this crime here. Yeah. And, and I'm glad I'm able to play it at nighttime because the nighttime is the same, but even the sunset is crazy. But this is the main thing I want to show. So, like, let's see if we can get. To fight somebody, so just swimming through the city. But you can see it's the detail of all the stuff going on in the city. Like, I mean, this is an incredible game. I didn't even think I was even going to touch the remaster. Like, I was like, I'm jumping right in my miles. But then when I saw how good it looks, I was like, jeez. And how it played. This is just a thing. This is insane. They got the transversal down. So good. But see, performance mode is smooth as hell. And then you switch back. And you go this and go back to fidelity mode. On your left. Can't believe Shocker's loose again. Alright, let's go see Shocker. Now I'm gonna show you this 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 cool thing, right? So now what I was talking about is those tasks, right? The activities. So, check this out. So, playing the game, like, yeah, I'm getting a little, uh, well, Spider-Man. So, they have this thing called a switcher, right? I know, Froggy, right? Think, they think this is the worst Spider-Man I'll look on the PS5. I know. So, there's a thing called a switcher, right? So, when you go to the switcher, a lot of people are like, hey, I'm just going to boot up Playroom or Call of Duty. These are recent games or recent media apps. Um, the, this is a one limitation that they don't have. You don't have full access to your library with the touch of the button. Yeah, if you want to go play a different game, you're going to have to go to your home. You're going to have to come over here and then choose a game. Whereas Xbox does have the slide panel on the side and you're able to, um, and you're, you're able to, uh, you know, have access to almost all your games or the pinned games at least to that stuff. And you can see the difference between swinging through the city and, and 60 feet. Now, you tap it and say, okay, it keeps about the last couple of games. Astro's Playroom. People say, okay, hit play. If you hit play, it's going to take you to the title screen. Now, with a lot of the games, it skips by all the advertisements and all, not the advertisements, but all the, you know, the things that pop up, the, uh, you know, the, the who made the game, all the logos in the game. It takes you right to the title screen. It's fast. And I'm going to show you that. You know, you hit play, it boots up, Astrobot, gives you the splash screen, and it'll take you to the thing. Whereas Xbox will take you right to the game, right? It'll take you instant resume. But this is something that I've been doing, and I don't know if a lot of people have been talking about this. So it takes you to this, you hit continue, and, you know, it's still fast as can be. Like, you're still there. Like, that, that is a, you're still in the game, right? And now, let me show you this. So now I want to go back to Spider-Man. Now people say, do the same thing, right? Come back here, go to the switcher, click Spider-Man, kick play. I don't do that. Here's a tip, grinders, watch this. So instead of doing that, go to Spider-Man, go to Game Hub, go to the activities, and hit play. It'll take you right to your mission. Watch this. Talk about quick resume. Watch this. It puts you in the mission, the one that I was just doing with with, uh, with Shaka. Boom, Can't and he's ready to Shaka's here. loose again. Now, the difference with the activities is that you have control over what you want to do. So now I just showed you Astro's playroom, right? Yo, what's up, Raven? How you doing, man? 
So watch. So now, again, we're going to do that again. Right? So I'm doing Spider-Man. I'm still trying to get my way over the Shaka. I'm like, oh, let me see what else I can do. So we're going to go back here. Go to Switcher again. Not click on Play. Click on go Game Hub. Now watch this. I could do that Frozen Run. I could do this. I'm going to go, you know what? I was in CPU Plaza before, right? Nah, I'm going to go right to Bot Beach. Bot Beach. You hit Square. Watch this. Not only am I, I, I went to the house screen, I'm in the mission. Just like that. I'm at Bot Beach. So these activities are like shortcuts to the game. So it's not just booting you up to where you left off, le left off in the middle of a jump somewhere. But it actually is taking you to something to achieve, like a, like a, um, you know, a part of the mission. And in a lot of instances, you could do this within a game. So instead of going to the main hub, like I'm going to go back, I'm going to leave this world, go back to the main hub and do something else again. You could jump to different worlds within the game with these activities. But it also helps you switch. So you see that, right? Now I'm going to say, okay, I'm done with Bob Beach. Man, this feels crazy with the, with the dual sense. You feel the sand bashing in your face. Boom. And you'll see the activities do this. Right? So now come back here. Switcher. Spider-Man. Go to hub. But guess what? I don't want to do that mission I was just doing. The comeback. I want to do a, a Fisk hideout. It says it's 10 minutes to play. Hit play. Now remember, I was doing Shaka's mission, right? Really, Pitch? Wow, that's crazy. 22 seconds. But watch this. Now, instead of doing Shaka's mission, look what it took me to. It took me to a Fisk hideout because I wanted to do this. And it says it takes about seven, about 10 minutes. Say something like that? But do you, you see no the benefit of like this I'm activity I thing? I got Damn. Sleep it off. Yeah, we all got Like and, and it kind of breaks it breaks these games down into kind of mini experiences. Because remember, I was already in that mission. Now, if this was, and then if this was like PlayStation 4 or something else, I would have had to boot up Spider-Man, go load in my save, get to my mission, and then tag the area on the map. Look, like look where I was. I was my mission. I was supposed to be doing was where. Uh, where's Shaka? Where's the main mission I was supposed to focus on? I don't know, somewhere else in the city. Is it up here? I don't know. It was Shaka's mission was somewhere else, but you see I was in pursuit of that. But instead I was like, nope, I want to, my activity said, I want to do a Fisk hideout. So I did the Fisk hideout. And then you go to Game Hub again. And you can say, hey, you know what? I'm going to Reindeer Forest. Screw it, I'm going to this one, Gusty Gateway. And it'll tell you how many minutes it is. It's pretty damn cool. Boom. So this is like quick resume to the next level, I feel, because this is a quick resume where you're going to resume an activity or do a mini mission in the thing. Now, yes, it, I like the Xbox One is pretty cool because it's kind of it's, it's automatic. It doesn't require as many clicks. Like, you just turn off the game and the game is in there. So, that has its perks, too. But, um, these activities can't be slept on. I can tell you right now what they do and, and these, these gaming cards. And you can even do it within the game, saying, like, I'm, I don't like this world. I want to do something else. Now, if you click on it and not hit square, it'll tell you the details of this. It'll give you the leaderboard, this jetpack run. Let's see. Uh, so, like, let's see. Here's CPU Plaza. Find all the puzzles. Now, here's a tip, right? So now... I want to, I'm only 50% done with CPU Plaza. Dude, it takes you within the game. So, like, it's like, a, it's like a shortcut. You're not quitting and coming to the main menu. I could jump from the Wind World to the... And this is the games that, that are using it, which is a lot of games. 
so uh, so far, the launch ones. We'll see how they continue to use it. But now it's like, well, wait a second. I'm 50% done, right? What do I do next? CPU Plaza. And I see someone wrong. I don't know what's going on here. I'm in it. But yeah, like, so say a gusty gateway, right? All it says here. Now see the little, like, um, the little here. Where is this? See this little, um, this little plus thing? Well, this is the tip. Artifact hidden in Gusty Gateway. Let's see what it is. So here's your trick video. And he's like, oh, pin to the side. I want it to this side. You know? All right, so where's that artifact hidden? That's in Gusty Gateway. So let's play. Let's resume Gusty Gateway. So for Trophy Hunters, Completionists... That's right, hit that like button. Thank you, Raven Flow. So where's that thing? Here's your video. So here's your tip, right? Here's Snap. Snap Remastered. Right? Dude's saying that it's over there. And the video keeps looping, which is pretty damn cool. But it was looping. I'm about to play it again. So if I hit this... And you can watch it in here. Or you can hit to the side. So, once you pass this guy... over there. Who's got an email? Let's see. Oh, there's, there's, there. There's something here. Whoa, look at that cloud PlayStation controller. So there's the video. So it wants me to jump on there. Us there. Oh, see, I missed it. I gotta go back. See, so the tip, I completely missed the artifact. I was afraid of these guys. Ah. There it is. Damn, I've gotten it already. Oh, no. What's this? Boom. See, that tip just told me. Look at that. And it's a PlayStation OG controller. And the buttons work. Yep, the buttons work. We're working. Look at that. That's so crazy. Let's see what the back looks like. Ooh. Screws. See, so that, that tip thing just did that. Thank you, tips. Now, on top of that, you can take the tips and you can exit pin the side. You can take that. Now, that tip is done. I click on that. Now, watch my progress should have increased. Uh, find all the artifacts on the level. So, let's see. Is there another one? And you can just snap it and say I want on this side. So now it's showing me the other tip. What's it saying? Yep, it's finding that other one. So I take that cloud and I go over there. Oh no! It's like a PlayStation and then it, I gotta get that puzzle piece there. PlayStation Cloud. See? So now that video just showed me another tip. You guys are enjoying some VR over here. Some Ver. Oh, smack him up. Smack him 
up a little bit. Up. And with Yonda. That guy's eating some elderberries. The PlayStation Mouse? What? Who the hell did they have one of these things? You'll have a ball with this. <laughs> It is. It totally is annoying. It's pretty awesome. What is this dude doing? And also the little stuff that these guys are doing, man. Homages to a lot of games. Hey, what is this guy doing? What, what are these guys doing? Oh, what, what game is this? Doesn't matter. Let me dance. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right. But I don't like the forest. I want to go to the beach. So now I'm back at the beach. And I use the activity to get back to the beach. Oh, look at this! Closed captions too. So like, if there's talk, if there's speaking, like tell me saying something, you can turn closed captions on. That's pretty cool. So exit pin to side, exit snap. Now I'm at the beach. So I use activities to jump to another world. I didn't have to leave that forest world, go back to the hub, and go into this. So it's pretty cool shortcuts for games. Now back to where we were. Where were we? Switcher. Now I have another game. Call of Duty. Go to the game hub in Call of Duty. Resume. Now this is this is a question people are asking. This is actually a disc. I don't have this is not digital Cold War. So um but watch this. Look at that. servers. Only you, Call of Duty. Only you with your servers trying to log me in. But yeah, it gets you right into the right into the game if Call of Duty would, would operate. I don't know what's saying. Confirm. Oh, we'll switch right. And that put you in a party, too. Oh. Call of Duty has the server thing, so let's switch back. Go back to Spider-Man. See, I've been using the Game Hub. It has an error because of the stupid servers. I, I, you have to log in. But right back to... Let's go back and find... What's his name? So, like... So, the PlayStation has some sort of quick resume. But it's definitely based off of the game's, you know, mission structure and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. Like, especially for the type of games that... That, um... You know, my, uh, they've been making these kind of open world games and stuff like that. You know, it definitely you gives you some, um... Say no disrespect some kind of, uh, you know, some sort of formatting to it. Because people, I think one of the biggest problems, and this is one of the things, like one of the biggest criticisms I think of a lot of open world games is that there's too, I don't, there's, I'm too overwhelmed with what to do, right? There's just too many things. Man, Spider-Man's hurt. There's just too many things. I don't know where to begin. Yes, I can hit start. Oh, yeah, here I can come here. I could go to my missions. You know, I can see where I need to go and stuff like that. But the fact that you got these little activity cards... Um, you know, these, uh, these activity cards for these games, these in the game hub, it's kind of cool because like, you know, if you, if you just kind of don't know what you want to do, you come in here and you go, oh, okay, well, what was I doing in this game? Okay. You know what? I have five minutes to play. Let me do this main mission. Oh, Hey, I just want to do some hideouts. Oh, Hey, you want to know what? Let me find all the backpacks in here. And when you click on it, it'll, it'll break down. You know, but hey, it's gonna take you about 90 minutes, and then you'll get a backpack token. And uh, you know, it's gonna be about 90 minutes playtime estimate. Find all the backpack, and it breaks it down. Midtown, Hell's Kitchen, Branch Village, of all the things. And you can make this your active mission. Activate surveillances. So those are the cool activities there. But then you got the trophies, and you know, here your trophies, and. And then on top of that, here's another cool thing, guys. 
So here's some broadcasts, right? People are broadcasting this stuff. So if you hit this, you could watch somebody else's broadcast. Just just similar to like the PlayStation 4, right? Ready? But what's cool is is you could do this. Now you could be watching somebody stream while you're playing. And I was like, oh, I don't like that there because look, my grinds, my gears is there. So let me, you could pin it to the side. Okay. I can move it. So this is some, somebody streaming on Twitch or YouTube and you could be watching your streamer as you're playing the game. Do this with Fortnite, do this with anything, um, with any game that you're playing. It could be somebody doing a walkthrough as I warned, streaming. Nostradamus-like. And you got this picture and picture going on here. Took down Wilson Pretty awesome. And this works with YouTube or Twitch. Um, but it, it's not natively. You can't go into the app and do it. But, dude, this is... <laughs> I love Snap and I love multitasking stuff because I... You know, my time is, it is what it is, but... The fact that you can watch this, somebody streaming, or, you know, you, could, you guys could be watching me streaming while you're playing your game, so it's not either, look at that trophy pop up. Now if you hit that, let's see what happens. So I hit the trophy pop up, and it tells you what it got. Wing it, and view trophies. So, awesome, right? Pretty cool. But yeah, so you got your streamer there, and then, if you come here, you could say, hey, Switch to the side you if you want to have a snap version of it. Goodbye. I think the picture and pitch is pretty slick. Changing the world just in the so this is somebody streaming in on Twitch, see? And then... You were at Oscorp when it started? The good work. I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone... And you can move it wherever you want. Pretty damn slick. Add Corp to that and, well... It is a catch yeah, and you want to see what else, too? So watch this. So, um, and you can pause the stream too, but watch this, um, exit pin to side, I'm going to click on this card, I'm going to make this big again, but I'm going to, uh, wait a second, watch on Twitch, alright, now it'll take you to the Twitch app, which I didn't download yet, but watch this, so, the other cool thing I think it does is that for all these games, it gives you your activities, it gives you news, and then it trends the broadcast. So it's not hidden. And remember on the PlayStation 4, it was like hidden in like the, the media, kind of like a video or photographs. Um, this one, it's not. So another cool thing is, I shout out to everybody streaming here, but like, you know, you click on this person's stream. And this is something, like Mod said, jump Mod. So this is somebody streaming it now. Um... So here's your Twitch viewers and stuff like that. So what's cool here is that you can watch on Twitch. You could follow the person. You could uh, change the video options. You could hide chat. But we're gonna, and you could just hit play, and it'll make you play the game. That's something that Stadia was gonna do. Like you're watching your streamer, and um, and yeah, basically it, it takes you to to the game. But these are some of the cool things that, I, that I've been checking out that, that's been really cool with the UI and, and you know, talking about a new UI and the quick, and uh, kind of the PlayStation's version of Quick Resume of that. But, um, yeah, so another cool thing with, um, let's see if Call of Duty still functions. I'm afraid of Call of Duty because Call of Duty's been kind of, kind of wonky here. But one of the things, um, another cool thing is, see, so this is the one thing, like, if I want to show another game besides the last four games or so I played, um, now this is Days Gone. So now this is not a PlayStation 5 game. This is a PlayStation 4 game. This doesn't have the, um, you know, the jumping around to different missions and stuff like that. I don't know if they're going to add cards to these games. But the only thing that really comes up in activities is the, um, is the, um, the trophies. To follow up with the trophies. Load time is improved, but this game did have some long load times. And I'm running it off of an external um, mechanical drive. A 3.5 drive. So this is not off of an external SSD, which I think is, might be my next uh, my next purchase for the PlayStation. Is an external SSD to kind of get that speed. Um, but again, I want to make sure I get a, a good size. Because these are three. These are, oh, I think these are three terabyte 
uh, ones. So I just want to make sure that you know I get the right size for, for those. But um, but yeah, what I wanted to show here with just this one is uh, so with these gone. Yeah, and I'll show you what happens when you hit the activity button over a PlayStation 4 game. So you'll see, like, you know, the act. And I don't know what's going on with some of so the games that don't have activities. They should have, um, yeah, there might be something going on. Because right now I'm just getting the news. I Usually you'll see a bunch of trophies sometimes. Um, and what's cool, here's a cool thing with the sharing, with the snapshots. So this is another cool thing. While we're waiting for this thing to load, so you could watch this. Look, it's recording my voice. Streaming, or you know, you could, you guys could be watching me streaming while you're playing your game. So it's not either. Look at that trophy pop up. And now, if you hit that, let's see what happens. So I hit the trophy. One thing I want to see. Hold on a second here. Oh, wow. So that was, that sound that you just heard me recording on there, that was coming from the mic and the controller. Um, because right now I'm using the mic on my headset for the stream here. But that thing recorded the controller, which is really cool. Even though, like, you know, for people that don't want to be listened to, you can definitely hit the mute button. And when you hit it, see, it pops up on the side. But what's cool is that if you had a reaction to get a trophy, and you're not, you don't have a camera on you, you're not videotaping yourself or, or anything like that, but you're like, damn, I got the trophy, oh man, oh, I did this, and and you got the clip. Like, if you have it, say, I want my recordings, my voice recordings inside that, it will grab it into the clip, so you'll get your kind of vocal reaction to this as well, which is pretty damn cool. But it does this. You can it, it picks up the trophy, and this is perfect to share. Like you can just hit share, and you go right to YouTube or Twitter with it. Boom, and you can share it to a party. And then this is the sharing features of it. So like it'll also take a screenshot. You can share the screenshot too. Um, and then I'll show you some other cool things. So like this is uh, one of the screenshots I had. So I'm just gonna show you. So here's a screenshot. Now you can edit it, a photo. You could crop it. This is all the thing. You can rotate it. You could crop it. You could zoom in. Uh, and then you, you could also add text to it, like, like yo, or something like that. You could change the, you know, the font. You can make it different colors. You can move it around. And you can kind of make a little meme thing type thing like that, and then sh and then save it or share it uh, right on Twitter, just like that. Which they're not tourists. And he has a video clip, so you could hit edit this. You could trim the clip, just like this. And this is someone on the PlayStation 4. Yeah, isn't that a cool pick? Thanks, Switch Black. I thought it was a cool pick. Uh, yeah, so you could trim this. You could save it. You could preview it. Which they're not tourists. Dude, like, this is all in overlays, like, while the game's still running in the background. And, uh, you could take a screenshot from your photo, from your video, and then Which you can share it right tourists. to Twitter. And I'll show you, like, I already did that one. Uh, here, I'll share this one. I haven't shared this one yet. And it also has a... Sh and just to show you this, see, Salty was saying something. So I was streaming yesterday. And uh, that's how the new thing looks when you're streaming. I haven't done that social joins yet. Um, but, like, uh, done gifts yet. But you could create gifts with uh, with Share Factory. But, yeah, see, Salty, see, like, Salty, like, chat. So the chat pops up like that. And you could control where your chat pops up. You want the top, all around the circumference, the, the, all the edges of everything around the whole screen so you can make your your video from your camera be on the bottom your chat somewhere else if it's overlay but yeah but that's how it is so it doesn't take up your screen real estate like it did in the playstation 5 or the playstation 4 yo sam ash yeah i had that call do I, I had some issues with the external drive and it, it crashed and uh, it rebuilds the database it, it only happened to me once because i I closed the game because there was an issue where it couldn't download an update to one of my PlayStation 4 games to my external drive because it was full and it and it got stuck so I kind of turned it off and I corrupted my external drive <laughs> on it but the PlayStation just rebooted itself like the PlayStation man it is friggin uh like I think it's built like a tank you know like, like yeah you'll get crashes and it reports them and get you right back in the game though um, it doesn't kind of like just give you some kind of yellow light or some warning code and it's like, well, contact service. 
on that. Like, PlayStation's pretty... I can tell you, it's pretty... Res oh, shit. See? Now he has some stuff. Now! Backwards compatibility. Look, I heard somebody. Oh, there he is. Now, this is running at 4K. I don't know. It, it looks sharper, but it is 60 frames. Oh, shit. It's one of the screamers. See, I heard her. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's go time. Get him out of the car. <laughs> he took a he took a dive. Where'd she go? Did I kill her too? Yeah, that guy took like a fake dive. He flopped. Yeah. Oh, who's this guy? Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh? Yep. Yo, man, stuff's going Ooh. down here, man. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I'm macheting this one. Oh. Oh, now I got the knife. Oh, I pick up her thing. Nobody does see me squatting in the street. Bushes. Uh-oh. Shot on the leg. I'll just take these. Damn, look at that. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Photo mode. Mm. Look at that. Let's let's get a cuff close for more intensity. Look at that. It writes itself, everybody. I didn't have to go. It just it just calls my name. Photo mode. I, the aperture, I kind of like the, the bouquet, the lighting. For intensity, let's do it. Grind as we're doing this live. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I have it quick. Took it a snap. Now, if I hold it, this is the quick setting. Now, if I hold it, it'll pop up this. Now, for everybody who has it set to default, this is what it will do. It will take screenshot, record recent gameplay, Save a short clip, the last 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 5 minutes. Save full video, it's still adding it up, it'll save up to an hour of video. Or, you can start new recording right now. The other thing is you can do capture options, so you can say what kind of settings, include my mic audio in it, include party audio, your, your video clips, WebM or MP4, what type of, you know, screenshot you want to do, and then you can broadcast. And this is kind of the broadcasting thing right here. So you can see, um, you can hear, you can go change services. You can switch to either Twitch or YouTube. Um, you put your title. That's all I was showing last night. You're in description, tags, privacy, if you want public or private. And you hit go live. And that is it. And away you go. Um, and then here's your broadcast options. You can decide to put the camera on or off. Display your chat where you want your overlay. And your video quality. Now you can only do 1080p 60 frames, 1080p 30, 720p, which I'm going to try this now. Maybe that's what's why I'm getting some artifacting coming off the PlayStation. Um, include your voice, chat, audio. And it's all there. All without leaving a game or going into another app. So, like, and you change your title, your description, your tags, and you just hit go live. That's it. Now, if you want to do that from the content button, you can. Now, I'm going to share this out to everybody. You go right to me, a gallery. I can hit add this to my favorites. And I go like this. Watch this. I can send it to my party groups that I have here. And I can create a party or I send it right to Twitter. Screenshot. I can add other screenshots to it, just like, just like the PlayStation 4. And now, hear this. What's up, JCAT? How you doing? You go here. This is something cool. 
people don't do this, right? See, grind is that's why you come here because I'm I'm gonna tell you the cool stuff. I'm gonna tell you the things that you know you're gonna be you're gonna be the 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 hot new kid on the block with the stuff that you're gonna know because what I've been breaking down here. Hear this. So now you go to your mic thing. Now guess what? Where's my mic? It's in your controller. This is really cool. The controller has a mic in it, so you could do dictation when you want to send a message. I was doing it with my friend. We just send a message back and forth. I was dictating into the microphone. The verdict. There is no verdict. So anyway, so <laughs> so I didn't really get into much of Xbox, and you know what? I think that's kind of <laughs> this is kind of an indication as to I'm showing all the new stuff that you could do for a new generation of consoles. Xbox has its capabilities too. I did show you know the PlayStation version of Quick Resume. The other thing I want to just talk about is the broadcasting thing. It's the same thing. You just come right here and broadcast. And if you had start, you could actually take away the broadcasting icon if you don't want it or if you want it down there. Um, one criticism, again, to turn off the system is to go here and you got to go. So like in order to turn it off, you can't hold it. If you hold it, it takes you to the main screen. If you tap it, It'll take you to here, then you got to go all the way to the right and hit power, and then you could do the rest mode, turn it off, and restart it. The other thing that's kind of like a little thing, too, is if you click your your, your trophies are kind of embedded in here. Because everybody's like, well, where are my trophies? Like, I don't like I don't have that trophy thing anymore. Trophies are located under your, your little logo. So you can either come here and do it, or you could come here and do it. And you can hit your trophies here. And then it has basically this layout here. Now, this is the thing. Yeah, you said CC image because the mic is on the controller. It's pretty damn cool. It works with dictation. So, here are your trophy lists. And, you know, here's your stuff, your breakdown. And, you know, see, here's your trophy. Game default, not earn, rarity, grade. You do all that stuff with your trophies. And this is kind of the new trophy layout. Uh, they, I think, have new locos on top. Now, everybody was like, hey, let's see the compare trophy thing. So here's like a compare trophy. So this is what the new compare trophy looks like. You know, like this. Now, another thing that came up was like, I thought under the trophies it was going to show you the new thing about game time. Well, that is not there. That is under your... Uh, I'm trying to think where that's under... I think it's under profile. Yeah, so it's on the profile. So here's your profile page, right? If you hit overview, it'll tell you your trophies. It'll tell you any accolades. This is something interesting too. Uh, it's similar to what they had on Xbox One where people could give you an accolade like, hey, you know, hey, good job. You're welcoming. You're helpful. You're a good sport. You kind of get like ratings from the community if you do kind of things and people recognize you. Um, and, you know, and their accolades say if you're helpful, you get helpful ones. People might you know, say, hey, I'm a helper and stuff like that. Um, you could give one accolade to the same player within 12 hours. I noticed they had those in Call of Duty and just like, hey, you want to give an accolade? You could do that to somebody, and, and you know, it's pretty cool, um, you know, if you have some, you know, a way of kind of identifying how somebody's personality is online. Um, you know, here are the games you have, and here's your friends list. So, like, here's, like, the old school friends list, like, if you want to just break it down. This is something interesting. You know, you got a friends list this way, and then here's the game. So, like, when you go to your profile and go to games, then it's going to show you how much you played of a game. Uh, you know... And my son contributes a lot to the, the Fortnite hours. That's not me. <laughs> but, like, you know, you got how many hours you played. And a lot of these are PlayStation 4 games. Oh, 22 hours in Dreams. Eric goes two, two hours. 19 hours to beat Marvel Avengers. That's all I did. Rock League, 74 hours. I play, I play free and everything. My God. 102 hours in the Spider-Man. And that's the one I'm showing. <laughs> Last of Us, 30 hours. Need more hours than that. But yeah, it's pretty. Horizon, 33 hours. They're amazing games. Oh, 
Let me play more of them. Final Fantasy. I'm still not even done. I gotta play this. I wanna see how this looks. But I have that on disc. I gotta go do that. Um, but yeah, so then... So that's kind of where your 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 stuff your, that stuff is because that, that that was something uh, yeah <laughs> that's right it was me it was the one on me it was me playing Fortnite I play a little bit of it which I do have to say um, hold on I I am probably gonna um, Fortnite on here looks friggin' it looks good it looks good but um yeah so like. Those are just coming to the things that, uh, that, that, you know, I, I've noticed because, like, some of the things are hidden. I definitely think they got to do some more kind of quick shortcuts with the controller to, um, to kind of get into different, uh, to kind of get into different areas, like, to just a quick to get to my library, quick to get to the power button. So, those are just sweet patches and stuff like that. And, like I was saying before on Ultra Preset Podcast, like, the thing is, is that, the thing is, is that, um, I know Cold Duty is loud, but yeah. how did the memory exercise go? The thing is, is that I went through the Xbox One, like, launch with that dashboard, and my goodness, like, seriously, like, if I've been through from a 360 dashboard to an Xbox One dashboard, and I tolerated those changes and got through it, this is nothing compared to that. That was like Windows and apps and all, and all this other stuff going from a great system that worked to just a disaster of, a, of an interface. And this still can't recover from it because, you know, that Xbox One interface, which I have here, and I wish I could do like a hot swap, but I'll probably destroy my whole stream. But, um, you know, uh, there's really not much to show. It's the same one that we've had with the Xbox. Uh, one thing I do want to show here is a uh, cool thing with, uh, with with Call of Duty is that, you know, it's this branching pathway. So, like, you could do this mission, you could do this mission, or you could do the story mission here. So, it is pretty pretty cool with, uh, you know, how to use the evidence board. And also, too, they say this kind of thing where it's like, well, do you want to kill them? Do you want to take them hostage? And people kind of ask you to do different things. So, this kind of branching paths and stuff, which is pretty neat in, uh, in Call of Duty. MI6 so, has I, been I, the I, last am, year. I am liking it. Um, like, see here, I have to introduce, there's kind of like this decision making and stuff like that. Like, you just do three suspects, like, you have to look at the evidence. Tracking a group of embedded so And you kind of, like, kind of think, like, okay, who, you know, what, who am I going to identify? Who am I going to kill? Like, it's just pretty cool. Um. So listen up. Yeah, the crypt lobby this, like, it, it, it's, uh, it is pretty neat. This is the one I was doing before. All right, yeah. Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. Yeah. First time, first Anyone anyway, hear something funny? Radar. It was late January. The, I didn't know my code name was going to be Bell, so I put friggin' Jez as my god as my first name because you get to type it in. You got to type in your Zod first and last name, so I put Jez Grinds, and basically it says Jez Grinds Bell or Jez Bell. I'm like, I didn't put Bell in there. What? That's your code name. So they're referring to me as Bell the whole goddamn time. And on my, on my dossier, it says Jezbel. God damn. Of all names. Oh, this is... Oh, I'm going to get out of this because this is going to play some music. Hold on. I'm getting out of this menu. You got to watch because there's some licensed music in this thing. All right. No Call of Duty. I should have done multiplayer, actually. Yeah. Ah! Keep getting out of this thing. But... Yeah, but they're zombies. Zombies! What's this Dead Ops Arcade? I don't know what this is. Yeah, no, isn't that this is crap? Well, guys, hit that like button. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do, uh... I think the, that was a majority of the things. I'm really liking this a lot, um, as you can tell. Like, it just, I have so many games. I got, you know, Demon Souls. I got NBA. I'm going to have to put those in. Um, I'm going to have to do Miles Morales. That's the next thing I'm going to play. So many new games and, and backwards compatible games that, you know, even go back and finish Jigo Tsushima, play some multiplayer in that. Like, there's just so many games that are, new are taking advantage of the hardware with new games new features new capabilities 
notice the word new 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 when i went on the series x i have it i opened it up i put i i, I went to the dash and i'm like um yeah like I, I went to the dash and i was just like yeah old friend like yeah i remember you and it really didn't it, it, it just i and i didn't know what to to do like i'm just like i guess i'll download gears Right, I guess I'll do Gears 5, uh, uh, you know, I'll download Gears, I'll do uh, Master Chief Collection, uh, I I'll do something, I, I don't know, like, there was, I didn't know where to begin. Um, and then, you know, the Phil has all his stuff saying, Game Pass this, and Game Pass that, and sign up for live. Even if I signed up for live, it's $10 a month. You can't even, like, PlayStation Plus is $5.99 a month, and you get those incredible games. The PlayStation Collection, and all those games with PlayStation. I... Please, Xbox Live is ten dollars for what? Oh, wow, look at this! This is like a top-down shooter. Oh, what happened? Dead Ops. Oh yeah, this was the arcade game. <laughs> oh, this is the arcade game. Huh. Oh, that's cool. I forgot about this one. Come on, guys, this way. Oh, guess they don't want me to go that way. Oh, they're just gonna come at us. This is pretty. F I didn't even realize this. this was even in here. Oh, who are we fighting? Oh, here they are. Here they are. I don't know what the hell I was fighting here. Yeah. Dude, they do. They do. And that's why I'm... I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to quit this. Sorry, dudes. Yeah. So, Honest Critic, these triggers really make the feel gun. Yes, they do. So, I'm going to explain. So, I wish they had... Of all games, I wish... Of all modes, I wish they had... Um, and see, you could turn off the trigger effect here. So if you don't have it. Um, people I know turn it off, they won't want it in, in multiplayer. Because it does give you like a slight disadvantage. But let me explain. So when you are using um, you know, a, a, a heavier weapon, like an AK, right? The, the aim down sights, the left button, definitely has more weight to it. Uh, it feels a little harder to pull up to your arm up to uh when you bring it up to your face but when you press it it, it it gives you a little more resistance because it's a heavier gun you do it uh, uh you know one of these um light machine guns it's definitely it it gets up there but then the right trigger mimics the the trigger so like it, it has a little bit of give and then once you press it that's when it shoots um it's pretty cool like it, it's it's pretty neat it makes you want to pit you know to to use different weapons um one of the cool things i'll say is uh i'm gonna tell you like it in in the in campaign i was switching to my pistol more often because it gave me less resistance and i could shoot it faster than with an automatic that might have more kickback and uh and and you really feel like you're trying to hold control of the gun like you feel like you're firing a gun with the vibration and the resistance of the control like it really comes together with the sound too that um you know it does that the other cool thing with the control of the vibration is that the vibration goes from the top to the bottom or it goes across like you feel vibrations going up and down <clears throat> not necessarily just in your palms and now something that was interesting like the rumble and resistance from the trigger all the way down to your hand like an astrobot they have cars going by you the 3d sound is there you hear them above you and below you but as they pass you you felt the vibration of it from your hand from the finger to your palm and when a, a bigger truck came by a car then you felt a, a little bit heavier rumble go from the finger to your hand so it like it, it, it i don't say massages your hand but like it basically the whole controller shakes. It's not like you you can't really identify, like, hey, it's just oh oh here it is. It's just in the corner over here. No, it's like, it's all over the controller. 
it is pretty amazing and it's and again i think just like what reviewers are saying it is very hard to explain and even so like um i don't think you could hear it but you could hear the here's the control i don't know if you can hear that but i'm pressing it halfway and then it clicks you hear it now just to give you an instance of that this is a control that's disconnected you can't hear it see i'm just tapping it right but now hear the difference with the gun you hear the difference you, and not only is it an audible difference but it's actually you hear it it's a click you hear the click right it feels like you're like wait a second something's broke like you press it you press it And then this is one that doesn't have anything on it. See? So you hear the click, right? That's the best I can kind of let you hear it. You hear what I'm feeling. And also, there's more weight to Like, when I'm holding this aim down sights, there's more weight to it. Like, and now when I go to a pistol, it's lighter. The, the, the control feels a little lighter. Between these two is not too much, but man, when you get an LMG... And you're holding it up. And you can see how bad I am because I'm, I'm demonstrating here. But when you get an LMG. And another thing too that they do um, is that they do when you when you uh, your footsteps. Like if you're running heavy, you'll feel left, right, left, right, like little vibrations. Left, right, left, right. And there. And like when you're sliding and stuff, like I feel a little bit of rumble like I'm bouncing off the ground here. Oh, here's a guy over here. And Fortnite has it too. With the, with the now they don't have differences with the guns, but they just have that click that I that I let you know. And that rumble, like you feel a little light rumble when you're uh I come John Rambo style. See, I'm a switch. Oh! <laughs> Yo, what the hell that dude did that, man? What the hell is that crap? What the hell is that crap? I almost got a four. I almost got a four spot there. But I switched my pistol. So now if I pitched my pistol. Now I can see if I, I don't think you get it's hard to hear the, the clicks. Yeah, I'm getting killed just doing that stuff. Going out. Oh my god. What horrible aim. Got some friends. Throwing frag. Oh my god! I, they made the melee boot like. Oh, that's a horrible spot right there. Yeah. So like, you could turn it off, and, and yeah, it worked. It, like, but it's also the rumble there too. Like you, it's it's a different type of rumble. Yeah, I've been killed. It's a different type of rumble that you feel when you're running through. Like it's it's it, if you play the switch and you you had those 3D rumble, it's that kind of like little bubbly kind of that kind of rumble, and it's all over the controller. Of course, that's my plan established the most moral. Oh, they got me. Yo, these guys are all over the place. Oh, right, we got it now. I'm not really paying attention to what that one's supposed to be doing. I'm more concerned about demonstrating the controller. Shot the knees! Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Spy plane. Oh, I was gonna drop my thing. You're better than this. Fight harder. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to shotgun. So that's heavier. Yep. Enemy care package above. Oh, thank you. I was just about to test out that shotgun. That's right. I agree. It, it, and trust me, it takes a little getting used to, but it's... I don't know. I don't feel... like Unless you're going to go... Like, if you're, you're competing and, you know, you want to, you know, eSports and stuff like that, turn it off. But, like, you know, just for the fun of it and play it, I don't care. I think it's great. It adds to the immersion. It makes you want to play more. Because as you pick up a gun... Enemy care package above. It's a different sensation, Hostile though. It's different. Make it used to it. I don't care. I like it. I'm, I'm not turning mine off. I'm doing fine. I'm not no Look Call of Duty All Star either. I want the immersion, man. Next gen is here, baby. And it's more visceral too. I feel like I'm shooting a gun. Yeah. Enemy puffing smoke. Uh oh, who's puffing smoke? Who's puffing smoke? Uh oh, I heard some. Artillery inbound. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bad throw. Is there a guy over here? That's where I'm on, guy. I'm still trying to get familiar with these maps. I ain't doing anything for my team. I'm praying you get shot in the back. Point lost. Point is secure. Got him. Got that little sneaky. Oh, and the other guy sh shot in the back. Oh, yo, I didn't think about that, honest man. I didn't think about that on in hardcore mode. Everybody just tossing grenades in there. <laughs> yo, that guy sent me flying with that shotgun. <laughs> Dude, who are they doing? Gymnastics? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I think we're, I think we're losing this one, boys. Oh, they're coming around this way now. Look at that. This isn't how it was supposed to go down. This is your best play. But hey! I don't want to do this anymore! See, now these guns, if you go to Play Hub. Well, let, let's see, now if I want to play Spider Man, Spider Man is on my switcher. So if, you, if that's the case, then. You know, that quick resume thing don't work. But if you go like this and say Spider Man's here, you go down here, let's go back to, you know, I've done Call of Duty. Let's see how long this takes. Yo, even that's fast. I can't believe Shocker's loose again. Yeah. Even that's These fast. Construction sites about as legit as the Dude. watches they sell in Times Square. So that's going from a disc-based game a and just doing, oh, basically going to the home screen and, and using the activities. Um, and that's because Spider-Man wasn't in my my Switcher hub because it wasn't the last three games I played. So hey, that's not bad. 
Dude, that just... That is, that is light years fast. Now let's switch this now into performance mode. Yuri, this construction site's about as legit as the watches they sell in Times Square. I don't have evidence for a warrant. You go with. Wonder what kind of trouble Shocker's into this time. Let's go get him. So yeah, like. I tell you, the switching between the games like that, instant resume is nice, but this one also is that you can control it. Like, you can, you can control where you want to go in the games that support it. Like, Days Gone, you're going to have to launch from the start. So, like, I did do the instant resume between Gears 4 and and Halo 5, and it was pretty cool. Like, I definitely think it's something It's really cool. I don't know if I want it for seven games or the last five games I played, um, but... You know, I do like this one's a little bit more direct, even though it's not the same thing. But hey, it's just as, it's pretty fast. It's quick resume, but it gets you like quick resume into it's quick resume with a purpose. You know, <laughs> it's quick resume with like an an, an like an activity. And just think about when you get a bunch of like three or four PlayStation Five games, and they're in your quick resume. Um, you know, the, these are, I I'm really liking the activity cards, and that's a, a new feature with this generation. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. Yeah, this looks good, man. Oh my god. Yes, this is performance What's mode. Money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. And you feel it in the as you're doing the thing. You feel the rumble go from like the. It's slight. It's like from the. It's very subtle. It's not as intense. Like the, the level and you could turn down the level intensity of the of all the triggers, the rumble. Like you could do that system wide as well. But. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now let's talk. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You That's right, even quicker death. resume. But yeah. You're not just stealing for yourself. But you, you know, again, uh, it's you know the Series X. I think is a great is console. Now. Like it, it is Punch small, it it's quiet, and you know the hardware is there. But the thing that you know, just the fact that they uh, not games, Game Pass, like all the stuff that I talked about, it is come full circle and really has has given them some issue. You know, and. Um, I don't know. I got a long, I, I haven't launched Miles yet. I haven't played Miles yet. I'll be streaming that. But um, I think I have it. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Now, let's see. I'm going to just switch it back. Looks like, like I got some See how it time. looks like this? Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. I'm gonna take a snapshot of it. Hey, I'm gonna switch it. My own digital foundry here. Nah, I'm Looks like I'm I got some free scene. time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Let's see, here's that. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. All right. You're up late. Let's see Just something. So we have fidelity mode. 
probably not going to see too much from the difference, let's see. And performance mode. Oh, yeah, look at the difference. So this is performance mode. And then this is fidelity mode. See, that's why I like, I, I don't know. See, I'm a graphics person, so like I see like all the extra reflections and, and things like that. Like, it looks like real, like it looks real. It looks like you're walking in a photograph. This is good, too. But, uh, you know, some reflections. I think it's just the texture of the ground. Let me see the thing in the distance. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to wait for that thing to go away. Yeah. There's a little more shimmer and shine. Yes. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. They're just walking, walking around like, favor? my God. You still have that mask from the insane. gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the feast They did. Now they did take the PC approach. Martin Lee. And we'll start up this. We'll come here. And there's, I got ghosts in there. So there's the library. Oh, and one other thing too. Is this. So... I heard people going, well, I'm launching the different version. So, like, if you hit start and you go to game version, you'll see, like, you're going to, if you have the PlayStation 4 version installed, you could decide what this shortcut will launch. The, this is saying I have the alpha here. I don't want this to launch the alpha. I want this to launch the full version. And uh, same thing with Spider-Man. Like, you go to game version... Do I want to do PlayStation 4 Spider-Man or I want the PlayStation 5 one? So just something to keep in mind. Like sometimes it defaults to this one if you didn't do that. So this is where it's hidden on the game version. And it's only in this top menu. Like these are kind of shortcuts. If you come to here, um, like if you come to here, that's not there. Like there's no, no, there's no like launch here. It says manage game content and you can see you could add different parts of the games and stuff like that. But let's see. Let's do it, guys. We got a lot of people watching. Hit that like button. Oh, you want to see bug snacks? So now I have bug snacks, right? Now, um, I streamed this already, so I'm not gonna stream again. Let's let's launch Miles. Yep. See, so like you just said, Mog said it. Photo mode and the remastered update. So like, here you go. See, so you have Miles. Now see, it says PlayStation 4 version. I don't want that one. See, I don't know what's going on here. I'm confused. Oh, that's maybe to launch the PlayStation 4 version. But this will launch the PlayStation 5 version. Gotcha. So we'll, we'll see what the, we'll see what it does. Because I want to see, because... If I go, and this is where I'll go. I'll go to install. But see... It put Miles Morales on my console, and it put it on here. The external one is the is the PlayStation 4 version. And for some reason, I can't... See, I can't delete it, though. I don't know. See, this is where it's a little confusing. Like, it double-installed it. But we'll see. We'll see what it does. But yeah, let's see this photo mode, right? Yeah, like, so, like, see, you just said about photo mode, right? So let's see. Official news. So any new announcements, stuff like that, boom. Hey, what's up, Rock Holds? Oh, Rock Holds. There you go, Rock Holds. Yep, this is the update for, uh... That's the update. And then into the survivor suit. See what happens. Yes, Mog, you could do that in Spider Man too, in the the remastered too. You can move the light. The, I done that in the Spider Man. See, so all these logos you don't see anymore, especially when you see when you go Spider Man.
sure. Up until about a year ago, my life was pretty normal. I lived in the greatest place ever. Brooklyn. Represent. Yeah, yeah. Two That's where I was born. And love all things science and superheroes. Everything changed, though, when my dad was killed in the city hall bombing. I... I couldn't believe he was gone. But Peter Parker and his Aunt May, they were there for me. And so was Spider-Man, who I later found out was Pete. Crazy, right? Then when the Devil's Breath crisis started, things got intense. It seemed like all of Spidey's villains were on the loose. I managed to do my part to help him out. And after all that, believe it or not, a spider bit me. And I started to change. I didn't want to worry my mom, so I went to Pete. And now, we're officially Spider Bros. He's been training me up, and I'm actually getting pretty good with this whole web swinging thing. I'm still learning to juggle this responsibility with everything else in my life. School, friends, a new home. I moved now to Harlem a few weeks cool. back. But I'll tell you, I can't wait to see what the future holds. Mm -mm. Hype! Now see, as you know, I'm inverted, right? So one of the things is CS is inverted up and down. So when you go here, I just want to just check this out too. See, so you launch, see it, making sure it's launched on PlayStation 5 version. That's on check. But like another thing that's pretty cool is when you go in here and you go to game and app settings. You go here. And you go, you go to game presets. See, so this is where I prefer resolution mode. Uh, first person views, I always play inverted. Our uh, horizontal cameras is game default. Third person view, inverted. Uh, and then subtitles and audio. You know, you want the game audio default, audio language, same as console, or original audio. But yeah, inverted. So, like, that already changed that for me. I don't know. This is the first time I'm playing it, Mog. I, I, I'm playing it live right now. I have not touched this game. And we're going Fidelity. So I've been playing the Spider-Man other one. Let's start this up. Let's see what's up. Oh, I feel the train moving in my controller. That's crazy. Wow, I feel the train. <laughs> feel the door open. Felt the up oh, vibrated for the message. Holy crap! Look at this. I feel the vibration. I was texting. No, it has not switched to the place. Use manual selected. And I'm sure this is gonna be all. All right, I gotta hold on. All these um. I'm just gonna drop the music here just in case. He's not listening to anything. <laughs> License music. Are you registered to vote? He's just chilling. Yeah, I just cool. muted the music. I'm sure I had some chill or some licensed music. That is so cool. I got you. Hey, thanks. No problem. Hey, uh, you think you're gonna add that new Spider Man too? The kid? Yeah, maybe. Original's just. My guy, you know? Yeah, I know. Hey, is Tails Bodega around here? Yeah, bright yellow sign down the block. Can't miss it. Thanks. Beautiful work, by the way. Maybe leave a little room for the new guy. Just in case.
Oh, <laughs> oh hey, man, is headed your way. Did I miss the convoy? Not yet. They're still securing a couple inmates. But it feels good seeing the guys. You're right. He is. It feels. It feels a little faster. Real good. The raft's an eyesore, but it's secure. As long as the octopus-related flaws have been fixed. Let's hope. Okay, closing in on you. Be there soon. Oh, it's so cool, like seeing like winter time, man. Miles, get that. Did you get the shopping list? Hey, mom. Uh, yeah, but uh, the bodega was out of coconut milk. Gonna check a store downtown. Oh, thank you. But avoid Midtown. That prison convoy is making traffic a nightmare. Oh yeah. Good call. See you at dinner, mom. Man. How does Pete do this secret identity thing? It completely stresses me out. Oh my god, this is... Yeah, he definitely it's... Okay, be cool. Be cool. Dude, it's definitely... Yeah, he's... I can't believe how... how it definitely feels... Cool. Different, like it, like if it definitely, you know, it's definitely uh, like he swings totally different. Hey. You hear? It's, it's, it's fast. I, I, I agree. How are you drinking? Very, very carefully. Okay, go time. Helix two on route, heavy payload. <laughs> Copy, Helix 2. We've got you all scope. This is a big operation. It's gotta be. Hundreds of felons escaped from the raft last year. Now it's time to move them back in. Police aren't taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. Getting a lot of interference here. One of those guys who helped Doc Gok is in there? Think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion, could be someone bigger. Okay, we got a problem. Hold back, Miles. Let me take. I got this, Pete. Don't worry. Huh? No. <laughs> it's secure. You're drifting helix too. We have a weight imbalance. Correct it. Whoa. Rotor's unresponsive. Freeze for impact. <laughs> This is, oh wow. I haven't said anything, I'm stunned. <laughs> I'm stunned. Dude, I'm stunned. <laughs> oh man, no I'm stunned. They managed to shut up the grinds. Oh my god. I'm stunned. I was like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. It's okay. We got this. Just need to contain it before. Before that happens. Hello, tiny spiders. It's stunned. And it's like all decorated for the holidays and stuff like that. Like, it's so awesome. Miles, I've got Rhino, but you have to contain the escapees. Right. Let's go. Let's, 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 start, let's see his combat now. Ooh. Oh, look at all his flips. Oh my. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry, but no what's happening. Wait. I'm going to have to do it. Oh, no. Look at the snow on the ground. Whoa. Damn. Like taking screenshots. Can't let Pete down. I need to get this under control. Wait a second. I hear that is crazy. Oh. I love photo modes. Anyway, 
But I hear it's crazy because even the 3D sound, I hear him in the lower right hand portion of my ear talking about Rhino and crashing. Yeah, I want to try to get another screenshot. Honestly, kind of terrifying. Christmas in New York. Let's see this one. <laughs> Dude. It is. Yo. So you can't. Oh, there it is. There's the shot. So you can change his. Oh, look at this. You can change his outfits. Let's see. Spider Verse 1. Oh, my God. This is too much, man. This is friggin' incredible. Hold on. Let's see. So you said you could change the lighting now? Let me see. Oh, here he goes. Just camera mode light. So, like, you could take the lighting, natural light. Wow. You could take a light source here, right? Sphere light. So, you could add, you could. Oh, there it is. So, here you have, like, a spotlight on them. Like, here, you could add light. Like, you could add light to them. Look at this. You could add light. Oh my god, that's crazy. You gotta feel light to like you a light source. That's what you can do. Okay, gotcha. Alright, last screenshot. Boom. And with that guys, I saw the time. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, I did do that. But with that, guys, I'm going to end it right here with this amazing screenshot. And it's just getting started. So please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, there's plenty more to come. Um, I might even grab some um, some Xbox content uh, you know, to, to share as well. But um, And I'll have more opinion on it. This was more of just a demonstration in gaming and, you know, versus my experiences with Xbox. And it hasn't been too much. Like, I've really been just consumed by this. And the Series X is just sitting here. And I jump on it. I play a little bit. And I'm like, yep, I played Gears 4. I played Gears 5. It's just... Uh, uh, and, yeah, it's just not... Mm. You can't beat it. I, this, is, this is it, man. This is the stuff that you need. Like, look at this. This picture right here. Man. This is... Next gen is here. The controller, the sound, the games. Let's go. Good luck. You know, keep looking for those PlayStation 5s. And if you want an Xbox, keep looking for Booster. Booster might be there. Turbo Man is here. Turbo Man. The Dwat Booster. It's a Turbo Man. Where's the doll? This sold out. Put that cookie down now. Yes. Thank you very much, everybody. Grinders, hit that like button. Hit new subscribe, share it out. Thank you again for checking this out to everybody. And catch me later. And I think I like this setup for the stream. So we'll see how this goes from here. But thank you again with my new setup here. I'll talk to you guys later.